Hey, hello everyone! In this video, I'll be showing you how can you do web scrapping with Selenium in Python. In this case, I will be web scrapping the Robinhood app reviews and we'll get our reviews in a dataset to later analyze it. And let me tell you that this video is part of a series where I'll be extracting, transforming and loading the data. In this first video, we will be collecting data. In the second video, I'll be doing a sentiment analysis on the reviews of this app because it has a lot of good things to, to check. And in the last one, I'll be putting this information in the nice and pretty dashboard in Power BI. So stick around smash the like button and if you are new consider subscribing and let's go okay to start let's import the libraries that we need and then we need to define our driver and to do that we will be using web driver and uh, the browser chrome and when we do this we then can call our driver and get the url that we want in this case, let me show you, we'll be web scrapping the Robinhood Reviews app and we'll get the country, the date, the rating, the review and the version. Ok, let's run it. As you can see, a page will be displayed, so it is the Selenium opening the browser to specifically run the comments that we will be asking and from now on we'll be writing code to retrieve the information that we want from here. Ok, and what do we have here? Here we have a function that will grab all the data for each review in that page. And to start we call beautiful soup and the driver to get the page source in HTML. After getting the HTML, we will then we'll select the body in that HTML that is where the reviews are. And after that we'll create an empty list with reviews and for each row inside this body we'll select the cells that contains this information and create a dictionary with the country, date, rating, review and version. And what we are doing here is retrieving the, the text, the information inside each specific one that we need. So we need to take a look inside each one of them. And after that, we go to the reviews, our empty list and append the data we get here, our dictionary, and then retrieve the reviews. So with this piece of code, we are retrieving all the information inside one page. But if you saw when I show you the page, in this case we have more than 1000 pages. And this function only works for one page. So let's define it and move to the next one. Here, in this one, we built a mechanism that will go through each page until reach the last one. To start, we will create an empty list to aggregate or append all our results and then we'll create a condition or a weight where we use the web driver weight to use the driver and wait 5 seconds with a pull frequency of 0 0.5 seconds and I will show you what this do in the second so while true we will wait 5 seconds until we have an element which is this one Ajax loading cover that will only be displayed when the page is loaded. And this is represents an expected condition and this is a function from Selenium. We wait until an expected condition verifies, which is this one. And then after that, what do we do? We execute the get page function, this one, and assign it to results. So our results will be all the reviews inside that page. And then we extend our results to all reviews. What comes next is the logic that allows us to go page after page. 
So after retrieving all the results from the first page, we will define the next button and then we'll call the driver to find the expat element. And our expat element is a button for the next page. The button I'm talking about is this one. So, and after defining the button that you need to select, we build an if condition to verify if next button has an attribute of disable. If not, it means that there is a next page. But when we get an attribute disable, it means that we reach the end. So there is no more page available. If this doesn't verify, we click in the next button. So, and before continue to the next page, we put here a sleep time because we also need to, to give a little bit of time uh, to wait for the next page. Not, long, not only because we have this here, this might not be enough because if you don't put this here, you have the risk of doing too many requests and you get blocked. And you can try. If you don't put it, you might have an error after a while and you might not be able to reach the end of your process. So let's do it. So right now our page is scrapping and it is changing page after page, web scrapping the data that we want. And this process will take a while. <laughs> So, I will fast forward. And here we are, at the end of our reviews. We already reached the last page, so it means that our scrapper reached the disabled state in the next button. Ok, now we can move on and transform our data into a dataset. Let's do it with the pandas. And now we can close our driver and for that you use close. So let's take a look at our dataset shape. So we have more than 27,000 comments or reviews and 5 columns. And here now we need to change the ratings because I can show you that our ratings are not correct. Let me give you an example. So a ratings has this text and percentage and we will convert it to numbers from 1 to 5 and for that all we need to do is to use the replace function so let's do a count <laughs> a lot of negative reviews as we already expected isn't that right and now let's convert it let's check our data okay our ratings goes from 1 to 5 where the mean is 2.55 with a standard deviation of 1.8 okay so let's take a look at our dataset so as you can see we have the country date rating the review and the version it seems that we have some missing versions, but that's okay for us because we are not analyzing or we won't be analyzing the impact of versions on the reviews. And last, I just need to change our date to, to the date time because it wasn't in the correct type. And now we can see that we already have date time in our data column. And before finish, just need to save this dataset because we will need it in the next video. As I already told you, the next video will be about sentiment analysis. So stick around if you're new, consider subscribing and smash the like button and see you soon.